welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here so spring is just a few weeks away can you believe it i believe spring starts on march 20th which is four weeks from tomorrow so it's time for some spring decorating content so in today's video i am going to be talking to you guys about how to create really luxe high-end looking floral arrangements for spring all on a budget and i know there are tons of youtube videos out there showcasing all of the florals that you can get from hobby lobby i like hobby lobby just as much as everyone but for today's video we are going to look for our florals at walmart and the dollar tree yes you heard me walmart and the dollar tree don't sleep on walmart they have a bunch of very beautiful and pretty flowers and so does the dollar tree you know your girl she loves to ball on a budget so let's go take a look at walmart see what flowers they have also stop by dollar tree and then when we get back i'll show you what i picked up so if you want to see some lux for less high-end looking floral arrangements all on a budget then this is the channel for you so make sure you hit the subscribe button tap the notification bell become a member of the i style my style family now let's get to it As you can see, Walmart has a lot of beautiful florals. I really love those white ones. I don't think I've ever seen those before. And they also have them in pink. Oh my gosh, so many pretty flowers as well as greenery. Don't sleep on the greenery. Look at this baby's breath. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Walmart even has white pompous grass. Who knew? To believe it. This blue iris is oh so so pretty. I almost picked it up. You and I start like now with the whole world at heart. We can say or we could Walmart even has olive stems. Walmart also had a lot of great planters to choose from. I love the design detail on this one. So, so pretty. And this one, very modern. If it were a bit larger, I might have picked it up. But as you can see, these are really, really small and tiny. I want to go with something larger in scale. Something maybe like this one. But it's totally not my color so I'm gonna keep looking but as you can see Walmart has some really nice planters something for everyone
Dollar Tree also had olive stems. I've never seen those here before. They also have some really cute single potted hydrangeas. They have them in blue, they have them in white, and they also have them in like a purplish red color. It is very pretty. Also put together this really nice bouquet with the Dollar Tree florals. Very, very pretty and affordable. Okay, so now that we have our floral arrangements, again, we purchased them all at a very affordable price. The stems from Walmart range from $3.74 well, let's say, let's start with the highest one. The highest one is this branch here, which I am absolutely loving. Perfect for spring. This one was $5. These were $3. So, so pretty. Perfect again for spring. I have purchased these before, the floor, be floor. I have purchased these before and used them in a floral arrangement. So love these. I picked up two of those and this was new. Look at this. This is so, so pretty. So this was $3.74. Has a really long stem, if you can see that. So probably going to cut the stem a little bit. But look at this. It's perfect. Looks like little baby's breath, but I don't think that's what it is. Um, I picked up two of them. And what does it say this is? A gypso stem. So you can see here, it says it's a gypso stem, but look how pretty it is. Perfect for spring and summer. They did have baby's breath and I considered buying that, but it shed a lot. And so I didn't want to fool with that, so I did not pick that up, but this is perfect. So I thought, oh, and I, did, if I didn't say these were, I think 374 or 275, around that range. And then, Another floral piece that I found that is new to me. I don't know if they've had these before. This is a zinnia stem and look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. So I picked this up. I picked up two of these and guys, so I bet you're wondering why are all your flowers white? Well, I decorate in black and white, and you guys know I do not typically use a lot of color. It's, I just don't. I'd like a neutral color palette, black and white, and I bring in greenery as my accent color. So that's the florals you're gonna see uh, me make today are just really glam, not glam, just modern and elegant floral arrangements and I was inspired by these floral arrangements that I saw from Grandin Road, from Horchow, um, Front Gate. They have some very beautiful floral arrangements and so I picked a few out that I was inspired by and that's what we're going to use today as our inspiration to make our florals. Now the, I think those that's everything that we picked up from Walmart. Now to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, I was pleasantly surprised. So I picked this up and I picked it up many times before. This is a spider plant. I don't necessarily love these stems, but what I like are these. Look how pretty that is. So adding this to something like this, look how pretty that's going to be. So, so pretty. So yeah, so I had to pick those up. I picked up three of these and then the Dollar Tree has its own version of Baby's Breath. And it looks like this for $1.25 guys. Oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. So this is the stem from Walmart. 
And you can tell the difference. Let me step back a little bit. You can tell the difference. This one is a better quality stem, but if you're balling on a budget, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using this baby's breath from Dollar Tree. Again, it will shed a little bit, but still, I think it's giving us a high-end luxe look for less, none the same. So $1.25, $3.75. And you're probably gonna cut off most of the stem anyways. Save a few bucks and go with the Dollar Tree version or splurge and go with the Walmart. So you can't go wrong with either one. So that is the next item I picked up from the, um, there I say Walmart, from the Dollar Tree. And then this little guy, look how pretty he is. This is new to me. This is also, it says, baby's breath. I've not seen this at the Dollar Tree. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have. But look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. For $1.25, yes please, Dollar Tree. And then I have picked up this version before, but only in a, I think it was a purple and a blue color, but now they have white. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. So, so pretty. And I'm, missing a piece hopefully I can find it I hate when I buy florals and I don't check carefully enough and they're missing a piece but for $1.25 oh my gosh this is so so pretty so this will make a very pretty floral arrangement from the Dollar Tree look just look at that oh my gosh you cannot go wrong with that so so pretty look maybe we can get a thumbnail with the Dollar Tree flowers how about it? So, absolutely love, love, love these. So, now that we have our floral arrangements, we need vases, right? So, one of the ways I like to save even more money is shopping what I already have. But, if you didn't have anything to start with, the perfect place to look for a vase is your local thrift stores, your local Goodwill. So, that's what we also are going to do today. We're gonna to go to my local thrift store and I'll just show you around a little bit and then show you a few pieces that I picked up that we're gonna to use to put together our Lux for Less high-end inspired floral arrangements. Guys, I found some really cute pieces and I cannot wait for you to see. So here are some pieces that I was able to find at my local thrift store. So I found this silver piece. This one was a little pricey, more than I want to pay, but what does it say? Oh, as is big bowl. <coughs> I thought it said big ass bowl for a minute. But anyway, it is a quite a large bowl and it looks like it is stainless because you can see the tarnish on it. So we will have to clean this up a bit, but I got this because, again, I wanna create that high-end luxe look for less. Here is the bowl, as you can see. And I wanna do an orchid arrangement in this. And I already have some orchid flowers. So we're gonna use this for our orchid arrangement. I saw these candlesticks, they are you know, beat up and tarnished, but two for $1.49, okay. We can spray paint those, you know, spray paint is my best friend. And then I found this piece. Oh my gosh, just look at the detail. Now, it is totally not my color, but it was $5.75. And I think with a good coat of black spray paint, this is gonna look absolutely fabulous. Similar to something you might see at Hobby Lobby, but you would pay a lot more for it at Hobby Lobby. So $5.49, I'd take that all day, every day. And then the next vase that I found is this one. Now, again, I love the shape on this. It's giving me a high-end luxe look for less. It's not quite the color I want. So I am thinking about spray painting this. And can you guess what color? <laughs> I bet you can't guess, but anyway. It was $5, so 
We'll have to get these all cleaned up. These two cleaned up, that one and that one, then we'll paint this out. And look what I found while I was looking for bowls. I found this little tray. Um, from the freezer to the table. Looks like it was never used. And it was a dollar ninety-nine. Where did it come from? It looks like it was probably on clearance from wherever it came from. And yeah. Doesn't say. Maybe Ross or Home Goods, TJ Maxx, one of those. But for $1.99, dollar ninety-nine, I wasn't looking for it, but I think it will be a perfect addition. I could style some orbs in here. You know those orbs that I recently picked up from, what was it, Joann's? Oh, speaking of those orbs, let me show you how they look. All right, so here are the orbs. This one I showed you recently in a reel. I found this at Burlington for $8.99 and it looks very similar to the cement wood round that I found at CB2. So I thought I would just paint this white or like a creamy cement color or maybe that stone uh, spray paint that you can get. And I will have again another Lux Look For Less for $8.99 where the cement not from CB2 is $35. So here are the other ones that came from Joann's. A little bit smaller. These were 40% off, so they were $5.99 a piece. And I ordered three. And look at the size difference. These two and these two. This was also um, $5.99. Look in comparison to the bigger one. But, yeah. If you can find these in store, I think it would be better than letting someone pick them out for you if you ordered them online. This one I did spray paint black, as you can see, and I think it will look fabulous in this little whoops, tray. I'm gonna lose my balls here. Don't wanna lose them, so. Can you see that? Imagine this here, if we painted these white, or if we just painted them all black, how that would look in the tray. Oh my gosh. So this is gonna add texture and interest to your space along with the glam tray. Oh, that is gonna look so, so nice. And you can use it and style it on your entryway or in your entryway or on a coffee table. So, so pretty, absolutely love it. So I also, you remember these, I told you, are my Pottery Barn inspired dupe. These also came from Joann's and they actually are bigger than the ones from Joann's. These were $24, $23.99 and I am gonna paint the wood white. Can you see how that is going to look? Oh my gosh, and I might even do a faux marble technique on them to get even more of that inspired look from our Pottery Barn piece but I absolutely love these. When my boyfriend saw these in the reel, he's like, what? Oh my gosh, I love those. And I'm like, right, I do too. So, so nice for $24.99. So I cannot wait to use those in my home for spring, but those are some of the new items that I picked up. So now we need to get these items cleaned up and painted, and then we can come back and do our arrangements. All right, so here is all the florals that we are going to be using in this project. This bunch of florals I already had. Again, I used white and greenery, mostly greenery as my accent color when I am doing floral arrangements. So this is what we have. And then I have this, um, what is this, dry foam from Walmart that we're gonna use to put our arrangements together, so let's get started. All right, so here is how our projects have turned out. Here is my face that I spray painted black. Here is the silver plated bowl that we have cleaned up. As you can see, the tarnish is all gone. 
I used Bon Ami on that, by the way. If you ever have some silver that has tarnished, you can use some Bon Ami and like a non-abrasive pad. And then this is the piece that was brown that we painted. And as you can see, again, I was heavy handed on the spray. I try to do light spray, <laughs> but for whatever reason, it always ends up being heavy handed and it runs. But this is the look on this face. I want it more of a metallic finish because we're using like white and green as our accent florals. I wanted it to pop out of the face. So I thought this paint would work. You guys know I told you about the Rust-Oleum Bright Coat, Bright Coat Gold metallic spray paint. I absolutely love it. It looks like this. You can tell the top is really, really shiny. And so I thought this would look like this. And it doesn't look like that. It's dull. So I'm not a fan, but I did paint the outside of the face. And the reason I did that is because the vase was like a tenant, um, amber color so if I painted the outside of the base I, I think you would have still seen that color and I didn't want that so but this is what we have this is what we're working with so we're gonna roll with it and see how it turns out I also though have this vase that I've had for a, a while so it is similar in style to the other vase so we're gonna use that and then I have this little vase that I picked up from the Dollar Tree I wanted to use something that was, you know, kind of different in shape, something that looked a little more elevated. So these are what we're going to use. So I want to create like a big, bold, beautiful floral arrangement. I showed you my inspiration pieces. So yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so for our first arrangement, I was inspired by this arrangement that I saw on Pinterest. As you can, I don't know why, my refrigerator always likes to fill the ice maker every time I'm doing a video. It's, it's like it knows I'm doing a video. Okay, so as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the refrigerator is that this bouquet is going to be inspired by this by this um, floral arrangement that again I saw on Pinterest. It is being sold by someone on Etsy, but they have a really nice, beautiful glass vase. They have theirs filled with water. And I thought about filling ours with water to give it a more realistic look. We might or we might, we might not do that, but they are using some tulips in that arrangement. So. I have these that I picked up from Michaels several years ago. I have these green hydrangeas that I picked up from Walmart. These were $5 a stem. I picked these up several years ago. And then we also have these white peonies, which I picked up from Amazon. And if I can link anything, I will have it linked down below. And they have like some type of greenery in theirs that I do not have, but I do have this little greenery bush. So we are going to use this instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. All right, so I am just fanning out this greenery and I don't remember where I picked this up. I am so sorry, but I love the detail on it, it looks so realistic. So, what we're gonna do first is start with our largest piece. So we're gonna stick our tulips in first, and you can't see that. There we go, we're gonna stick our tulips in first. And try to straighten it up a little bit. Then, I think what we're gonna do is add in our hydrangeas. And as you guys know, I like to decorate north, south, east, and west, so I get an even distribution on my florals, especially those that are um, 
put this leaf back on. Especially those that are Especially those that we don't have a lot of, but I want them to be evenly dispute, dispute it, distributed in <laughs> the arrangement. All right, so this is where we are so far. Okay, so this is how our arrangement is looking so far. And I do not love how the stems look in the glass. I know. I said I do not like to cut my stems, but I am gonna have to cut those because I do not like the way they look. So let me do that and then I will come back. All right, so I've just cut my stems with the scissors and all I did is take the scissors and just score in the plastic and then bend the wire until it broke. All right, so let's start over, put our, our tulips in can see that and then our other stems north south east and west This is how this is looking. I want my tulips to stand up and look like the ones in our inspiration photo. And I will put up that inspiration photo here so you can see where we're going with this. So now you can see it's a much cleaner look here with the stems. All right, so now let's add in our greenery. And I like to stick it in the middle and then just fan it out amongst the other flowers. So you see a little bit of the greenery sticking out on either side. I feel like it gives it a much more cohesive look. So this is how this is looking. Now we're gonna add our peonies. And we're just going to stick them in randomly where we find a spot. All about timeless and elegant. So we have one here, one there, one there, and one here. Oh, let's stick, there's one there. Let's stick it over here. Actually, no, I think I'm gonna stick one over here. Because we want it to look more like our inspiration piece. And then we have one more. I do love how this is looking. This is how our arrangement is looking so far. We do have these leaves that came with the peonies. So I'm also going to stick those in. So we have more greenery sticking out. I just love the way this is looking. And then one more, and we'll stick it on this side. And there we go. Our Lux 
for less floral arrangement. Our, so we already had the vase. So if you had to go out thrifting, and let's say we did, the one we picked up from our local Peddler's Mall, which I call a thrift store, was $5. So let's say this vase was also $5. Our hydrangeas were $5. So uh, right now that's $5, 10 15 20 And let's say those um, tulips from Michael's, they were probably $5. Um, this was a bunch, you know how Michael's always has their florals on sale, so that's $25. And then these tulips, or not the tulips, these panties, came from Amazon. I want to say they were probably $12, maybe $15. Let's just call it $50 for this. Let's say not $50, because we're already at $25. Let's say $35 to $40 for this arrangement. And the one, our inspiration piece that we absolutely love on Etsy was like $155, I believe, but I'll put up a photo here. So this is our Lux Looks for Less, and I think it looks very similar to our inspiration piece. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. look styled here in my entryway and I think it is absolutely perfect for spring leave me a comment down below let me know what you think $40 versus $155 I think I'll take our DIY Lux look for less floral arrangement any day product and I think it turned out really really well for those of you who do not like color like me we can still bring in color using our greenery so our hydrangeas are this really pretty lime green color perfect for spring and then we've added in the darker green with the leaves and then the little fern like greenery here everything just looks so so nice again a modern and elegant floral arrangement all for forty dollars leave me a comment down below let me know how i did is this a yay or an a i think it's an absolute yay and we have mimicked our inspiration piece and again, I will put up a photo here, but I think we have mimicked our inspiration piece perfectly. All right, so now we're gonna work on our orchid arrangement. And this one was inspired by one I saw, I think it was on Etsy, but I think it was also by like Grandin Road or Front Gate, Poor Child, Poor Child, Poor Child, <laughs> one of them. But, I think it was Poor Child. I'll, I'll put up a photo here if I can find the inspiration piece, but I know their pieces range from anywhere from two to $300, sometimes $500. And I know they use silk florals, but hey, I'm never paying that much for a floral arrangement, but I still wanna get that Lux look for less. So I just have these orchids that I have laying around. I've picked some of them up from Michael's, some of them from Joanne, um, 
So we're just gonna play around with these and try to recreate a look similar to our inspiration piece. So we're gonna use our bowl, this was $12. We have these little greenery pieces that I picked up from uh, previous arrangements that I deconstructed. So we're gonna use these and see how close we can get to our inspiration piece. So for this one, we're gonna use our floral foam. And This came from Walmart, by the way. It's a project three for five forty-seven. Stick this one in here. I'm going to have to cut it in half. at our inspiration piece again and I'll put up a photo here all right so our inspiration piece has the orchids like bending over so I'm gonna try to bend ours over as well even though I kind of like mine a little bit Looks okay. Then we're going to add in. Right, so we have this leaf. And our inspiration photo only has one of these. But I think I might want to use two. We shall see. in our base to fill it out and cover up our star foam. Okay. 
this um, moss is so messy. But it does do the trick of covering up the styrofoam. Right, so let's clean up this mess. So this is how our orchid is looking. But again, I think I want mine to stand up a little bit taller. Like this. I just think it gives it a more elegant look. Can you see that? And then I'm gonna go ahead and add another one of these. to elevate it even more. All right, let's take a closer look. is looking here on my credenza here in my family room and I absolutely love it here so don't mind the lamp this is new we will talk about that and my clean and decorate with me for spring so if you have not yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button tap the notification bell and become a member of the iStyle my style family because you don't want to miss that video I think you're gonna really enjoy it but back to our orchid absolutely love it in this space again very modern and elegant and i think our silver bowl brings just the right touch of elegance to the space i love it next to the alabaster lamp so so pretty so leave me a comment down below this is how our floral arrangement came out and then again I will put up our inspiration piece here again the vessel or the vase that we use is different but I think ours looks a lot nicer I like ours better but let me know what you think leave me a comment down below do you love the silver vase would you have used a white vase because I'm using it here in this space and I already have the white alabaster lamp I felt like the silver would work better and I absolutely think it does. So let me know if you agree. So now we're going to work on our Dollar Tree floral arrangement. Now let's get to it. All right, so here's what we're gonna be using for our Dollar Tree arrangement. We have this face again that we picked up for $1.25. It has a unique shape, something that gives us a little more high end of a look. And we're gonna use these really pretty lilies. Again, these came from the Dollar Tree, but if you didn't know they came from the Dollar Tree, I think they look so much more expensive than that, except for this little bit piece right here. But let's pretend that's not there. And <laughs> look at the other florals, and they do look very high-end to me. Let me know if you agree. Then we have our baby's breath, again, from the Dollar Tree. We have these little spider plants, again, from the Dollar Tree, and I like them because of the little flower here in the center. Then we have these, which also says they're, it's baby's breath or a gypsophile, but I don't know. I love these. I think these are so, so pretty, again, not something I would expect to see at the Dollar Tree. If I didn't know any better, I would think this came from Hobby Lobby or from Joann's or Michael's. And then we have this piece again 
very high-end looking to me. So don't sleep on Dollar Tree. You can put together a really pretty floral arrangement and that is what we're just going to do. All right, so now we're going to work on our Dollar Tree florals. And All right, so now we're gonna work on our Dollar Tree florals. off all of our tags. I just love the look of these little stems. Look how pretty they look. to make this look as full as possible using just dollar store dollar tree rather you care to check it out and then this came off somewhere I need to stick it back on I'm not sure where this came off well we'll just stick it down in the middle but there we go here is our Dollar Tree floral arrangement and if you didn't know it was from Dollar Tree, doesn't it look very high end? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think.
also leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of our Dollar Tree floral. So our vase was $1.25 and we picked up, I wanna say about six florals, so $10 for this arrangement. And I think it looks way more expensive than $10. Just look at these little flowers. Oh, so pretty. You could do a lot with some items from the Dollar Tree, so don't sleep on Dollar Tree. Again, I will show our inspiration piece here. Way more expensive. Would you rather spend over $100 or $10? And for me, it's gonna be $10 every time. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what would you do? $100, over $100 or ten dollars all right guys so that is how i create my high-end dupes to give me that luxe look for less i love making floral arrangements you guys say that you love seeing them that you like um, how I put my floral arrangements together. I know today's video was a little lengthy, but I wanted to show you step by step how to put together your own arrangements. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, become a member of the iStyle Lifestyle family. I would so love to have you. So I hope you enjoy today's video and it has given you some tips and ideas on how to create your own floral arrangements so that you also get that luxe look for less. My family has grown and I wanna thank you guys so, so much for all your love and support. You're always here, you're always commenting. It does not go unnoticed and it is greatly appreciated. So if you enjoy today's inspiration, make sure you share it with your friends. Let's do a recap of what we've done today. So we looked at our high-end decor stores like Whore Child, Front Gate, Etsy. Etsy can be pretty pricey too, guys. So, but they do have some pretty floral arrangements and I, I do get some inspiration from there as well as Pinterest. So with our first arrangement, it is a blend of hydrangeas and peonies. Oh, so pretty. Our inspired piece was, I wanna say $188. Um, and we only spent $40 for our piece. So let's take a look. Their piece, ours, I think we did a really, really good job, guys. For $40 versus $180, I'll take $40 all day, every day. And our next piece was inspired by Poor Child, I believe it was, or maybe it was Etsy. Yeah, it was Etsy. And that piece was eight, no, that's the next piece. Was it the, one of those pieces was $800. I think it was, no, okay. We'll get to that one. So our next inspired piece was from Horchild. No, I'm getting confused. Our next inspired piece was from Etsy. It was $250. Again, we spent $30 for hours. Again, here's the comparison. $250 versus $30. I'm gonna take $30. And then our last piece, this one was inspired by Horchow. This was $800, guys. $800 for a floral arrangement, what? But I'm sure it has to do with that little gold piece thing at the bottom. We didn't create that, we just created the floral arrangements. But theirs was $800, and I'll put up the comparison here, and ours was $10 from the Dollar Tree. I would say we're very darn close, guys. $800 versus $10. I'm taking $10 every time. So again, you can get some inspiration from your high-end stores, from Etsy, things you see around you, and then go out and recreate that same look for a whole lot less. 
and that is what my channel is all about how to decorate your home with style on a budget and try to make it look a lot more expensive than it really is so if you love home decor and decorating with style all on a budget then this is a channel for you my friends so please make sure you hit the subscribe button share this video with your friends I will have part two coming up where we are going to be creating some statement I mean statement floral arrangements that will be perfect for spring so if you have a larger home and you want to create those grand statement floor pieces that you see in entry waves of those really big mansions I got you covered so make sure you subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one